Now, next up, we have the notorious Captain David Forktongue. He is known to us at the Watch City Festival, notorious among the steampunks, and he eludes capture every year at the festival. Of course, at the festival, he'll be performing his shows, like this one coming up. Here, why don't you give a gander? Ahoy there! Captain David Forktongue here, and you are watching Sal's show. We are happy to be here to show you Captain David's Haunted Pirate Show. Now to hear more information about Captain David, you can log on to my website, captaindavid.weebly.com. And we would like to thank, thank Sal, Sergio, Sergio Leon, and Bob Dunbar. Now remember, Sal's show is your show. If you want to be a guest on the show and come on and perform, log on to the website down below and come on and show us your talent. And today we're going to show you some of what is taking place during my haunted pirate show here on Sal Show. <laughs> Let's enjoy the video. When first I come to Liverpool, I went upon a spree. Me money at last, I spent it fast, got drunk as drunk could be. And when me money was all gone, twas then that I wanted more. But a man must be blind to make up his mind to go to sea once more. Once more, once more To go to sea once more A man must be blind to make up his mind To go to sea once more And as I was rolling down the street I run into Rapper Brown And I asked him far to take me in And he looked at me with a frown Says he, last time you was paid off With me a chalk, no score But I'll take your advance And I'll give you the chance And I'll send you to sea once more once more, once more, I'll send you to sea once more. I'll take your advance and I'll give you the chance and I'll send you to sea once more. And that's how it is. If you want to live a life of glamour and adventure and maybe even some treasure, Sailing on the bounty waves. I was a hayseed, what did I know? Got tired of staring at the south end of a northbound mule. Beat the bushes for Galway. Tried to get myself signed on to one of those sleek modern clipper ships. And I met one of those rappers, and he sold me a bill of goods, he did. Told me I was going to be in the most modern of conditions. Signed me on to a trading ship called the Buckman, which we used to call it the Bucket. Sailed between Liverpool and Donegal and sometimes we'd even make it all the way down the coast of Spain but not the Riviera coast the bleak, cold, dingy Atlantic coast did that for two years the best thing that ever happened to me we came into the spyglass a captain David Forkton and a right good pirate he was 
except for this one time. He saw the bucket was riding low in the water and he thought that meant we were heavy with treasure. Instead, all that really happened was we just hadn't pumped the bilge out for a week. So we sailed up on our port side and demanded that we hove to. Which we gladly did. We all signed on to the captain's articles of piracy. And Fork Tongue put the bucket out of its misery with an eight pound cannonball. And down to the bottom she sank and I was never happier to see anything sink in my life. And we sailed for a good five years with Captain Pike Fort Tongue. Plenty of treasure, plenty of adventure, many, many ports of call with a girl in every one of them. Till one of those powdered wig ponces from the Admiralty decided to put an end to our adventure. Stuck up on us, riddled us with cannon shot, captured us all, and arranged for the good captain to be dancing in midair at the end of a rope. Now the lot of us are scattered in ports all over the Atlantic, singing and telling tales for our suppers. And that's why you need to watch out for a life of the sea. When it's good, it's good. but it'll chew you up and spit you out as regular as anything. So come on, you bold seafaring men who listen to me song. Take my advice and listen well, I'll not have you go wrong. Stay out at bars, drink no strong drink, nor cavort and with no whore. But get married instead and spend all night in and go to see no more. No more, no more, and go to see no more. Get married instead and spend all night in and go to see no more. Oh, wonderful, Minstrel wow. Michael. Where did you come from? Did uh, you check in with Sal? I just did. I checked in. I told the Dutchman to drop me off here. Well, jolly to see you, Captain. And you too, Minstrel Michael. Sounding as good as ever. I thank ye. Ah. You're looking a mite pale and strange. Well, yes, this Little is... Little the worse for wear, perhaps? Yes, these are the brightest lights, I will say, that I have seen since I just hung there from the noose. The day that they executed me. Well, it's wonderful to see all of you wonderful folks there. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Captain David Forktongue, pirate extraordinaire, and it's a pleasure to be here today on Sal's show. And once again, let me introduce Minstrel Michael, ladies and gentlemen. He served aboard me ship as ship's musician, and he himself saw his fair share of battle himself, and he cooked me the most wonderful butterball. He's also an excellent cook as well. That's the one thing I miss about the land of the dead. Their cooking's not as good as yours. Oh, for shame. Oh, yes. But You'd let me think Satan and Old Scratch and his minions could afford some top-notch. Well, we do have a barbecue every once in a while. 
And, you know, we have one more often than most people do. Roast Nixon with all the trimmings. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> Quite lovely. Anyway, so yes, everything my colleague over here has said is true, yes. I was a pirate in my life and still am. Even my heart is always that of piracy, although it doesn't beat as much as it used to anymore. Uh, but yes, although my heart and soul was always that of piracy, I will admit I myself served aboard a military ship. And I served the captain of that ship, a man named Captain William Warren, very faithfully, although my heart was always that of piracy. Now, I will admit there were certain perks that came with working with the good captain. One of those was the good captain's wife. Aye, she was a treasure herself. Although it probably didn't help my, myself that I was seen in some mysterious positions with the good captain's wife. Ah, uh, yes. And we were in many different positions. Some of them, some of the positions I won't go into just because we are on a family show. Now, he decreed that I was to be executed on the morrow. Now, the morrow came and I was nowhere to be found. Where was I? I, although I love to tell stories, that is one story I will not reveal. It is my secret. <laughs> Although years later, I was seen captain in me own ship and sailing under a flag of piracy. And I made quite a name for myself as a pirate. Now eventually Warren and the Royal Navy did catch up with me. I was arrested for me charge of piracy and brought before the magistrate, thrown in chains. And at me trial, I was found guilty of the charges of piracy and decreed that David Forktongue would be executed by hanging. Now the next morning I was dragged out by the soldiers, shackles and arms. They took the rope and put it around my neck. And as I stood there on the gallows, they read all the charges one after the other. And as they were reading those charges, all I could do was just stand there and say, yeah, I did that. Oh, yes, yes, I did that too. Well, I'm not so sure about that one, but that's actually a good one. I'm going to take credit for that one. And then the executioner pulled the lever, and there I hung and was dead. Now they then took me body, dipped it in tar to preserve and mummify me body had me body facing out towards the ocean. And as I stood there, the evening rolled in, suddenly a gaggle of crows came out from the sky, and they all came at me and pecked away at me flesh, pecked and pecked and pecked, and then they ripped me eyeballs out. And my soul exited me body, and they said it is time to cross over with the ferrymen and see what awaits ye in the land of the dead. Oh boy, what a silver-tongued devil Captain David is, huh? Boy, but he is a pirate. I'll tell you, every year he steals anything that's not nailed down. Then, he'll steal the nails. <laughs>